Hello everybody. Before I show you guys the finished product, I wanted to take this opportunity to talk about a couple of things first. Now, I almost gave up on this project, to be honest with you, and the reason why I did that is because of the fact that after I uploaded and edited about 10 minutes worth of the video, it turns out that there was this massive error that literally destroyed at least three minutes of the video, and I have to say that I was pissed. I had spent all of this time in making this video, and there was this massive error that literally took a shit on everything, and I almost gave up. But something told me to continue, and I basically threw the old video away, and I started all over. So I hope that you guys enjoy it. Now, I also want to take this opportunity to thank the individuals out there who have invested in my channel. Because without you guys, these types of videos would have never been possible. And that's something that I want to be honest about. So I thank you guys. I also want to tell everybody out there that if you're still interested in donating to my channel, there are some upgrades that I still need to get. If you want to donate, a link to my Patreon page will be in the description down below for you guys to take a look at if you're interested. If you're only interested in making a one-time donation, my PayPal link will also be in the description down below as well, and that is if you're interested. And I just wanted to get a couple of those things out of the way before I show you guys the video. So with that said, let's do this. By now, you have probably reread about the incredible discovery of Homo naledi. Members of the species had very small brains, about half the size of our own, and very long and curvy fingers that may have helped them swing from trees. National Geographic calls it one of the greatest fossil discoveries of the past half century. The fossils were discovered in an African cave in 2013 and could force us to rethink what we know about human evolution. To be clear, we don't yet know the significance of these fossils. The scientists haven't been able to assign a precise or even rough date to the species because the bones weren't attached to rocks allowing for radiocarbon dating. It'll take some time before other methods get us a better estimate of the age. It's also possible that despite the media splash, these fossils may not be as revolutionary as we think they are. Now, I'm pretty sure that you guys will know what creationists and Christians think alike, basically. Just to give you a little bit of a preview, here's a couple of quotes from Ken Ham and his idiot staff, and I must warn you guys that this shit is funny. <laughs> we can say with confidence that this discovery changes nothing about our understanding of human history. God told us he created two humans, as well as all kinds of land animals, and that includes apes, on the same day. That means that there could be no evolution involved. Whatever species these bones represent, we know that they cannot be any sort of intermediate between apes and humans. The only way to find an ape man or a bridge between apes and humans is to misinterpret fossils of either an ape or a human as something in between. But all humans, even varieties of humans that we no longer have with us, were all descended from the first two people God made, Adam and Eve. <laughs> I want to read something to you guys from the friendly atheist that I think is spot on, and he says it like this, and I quote, Creationists live in a bubble that can't be penetrated by facts. They're unable to incorporate new information into their mythology. They complain about liberals redefining marriage while they distort the word science to render it meaningless, basically. Ham says that Dr. Elizabeth Mitchell, a creationist on his staff, will soon respond at length to the findings. I can give you a preview right now. Satan is trying to deceive us. <laughs> you know, it really makes me laugh to see these idiots basically ignore the facts. They think that it's more appropriate to believe in a fairy tale. Now, naturally, I'm offended by this, but there's nothing really I can do about it. You know, I'm just going to let them spew their propaganda out of their mouths like they know how. They cannot give us any facts to support their positions at all in any way, shape, or form. They're just going to spew their lies. They're going to spew their rhetoric. And it's funny to me. It's amusing to me. It's really amusing to see this amount of ignorance at hand. And that's how I feel about it. So feel free to share this video with anyone that might be interested, whether it be on Facebook, Google+, Tumblr, Reddit, Yahoo, or wherever you guys hang out. Till next time, The Quiet Atheist is out. And remember, if you can't be good, 
be good at it. Most of all, thank you all for watching, and I will see you next video.